The murder of Yardley Love was not in vain. Her mother, Sharon, has made sure of that by starting the One Love Foundation, a nonprofit aimed at educating and preventing abusive relationships like the one that killed the star UVA lacrosse player. George Hughley is currently serving 23 years for the murder of Yardley Love, but their story continues to evolve to teach others the pitfalls of domestic violence. Almost exactly four years ago, a mother lost her daughter and gained a crusade. Yardley Love was beaten to death weeks before her graduation from the University of Virginia. A jury determined her ex-boyfriend and fellow lacrosse star George Hughley killed her. My goal is to try and prevent this from ever happening to to any other family. It wasn't too long before Yardley's mother Sharon went from being victimized by this tragedy to drawing strength from it. Sharon Love started the One Love Foundation, a nonprofit aimed at educating women about abusive relationships and domestic violence. We decided that this is such a major issue and, and we really can't ignore it and we wanted to jump in with both feet and see what we could do to stop it. The One Love Foundation created a revolutionary app that makes it impossible to ignore relationship violence. It started with an app called the One Love Danger Assessment, a 20-question quiz women can download and take to determine what kind of risk they were in. A modern version of the 20-year-old tool developed by Johns Hopkins professor Jacqueline Campbell. Since it was introduced a year and a half ago, it's been downloaded almost 11,000 times on mobile devices and tens of thousands more on the foundation's website. A success Sharon Love felt needed a follow through. Another app to address the next step in surviving an abusive relationship. It will help you develop a plan to, if you don't leave the situation, to try and stay safe or if you are planning to leave the situation to make sure that you're prepared to leave and that you will be as safe as possible when you do get out. It's called One Love My Plan. This app, too, quizzes women on their relationship to determine risk. He did put her down, though, for sure. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. um, and did he ever try and tell her how to act? But then goes the next step, offering a plan to either safely stay in or get out of that relationship, depending on the goals of the person. <laughs> Tips and signs, Professor Campbell says, may not always be easy for women ages 16 to 24 to pick up. They were not danger signs that either her family or Yardley herself would have recognized as such or her friends. But if I could have talked to her, you know, I might have been able to help her understand that danger. But now she can. Campbell's blueprint on identifying abuse is now digital twice over and targeting a mostly college demographic she says really needed it. Combined downloads for both apps have now reached more than 53,000, a number Campbell says only adds to the awareness. So we know it's out there that, that young women are using it, and uh, we don't have any direct feedback from most of them, uh, but we have heard on the side um, about uh, young women using it and appreciating it. An appreciation Sharon Love can only hope leads to prevention, having lost her love, but hoping others believe in one love. We really feel like this app will save a lot of lives. But get ready for phase three from the One Love Foundation. So there was the first app, then there was the second, and soon a prevention video that will be circulated to high school seniors on their way to college. The movie, with actors and all, will depict an abusive relationship to teach both young men and young women what to look for as they get ready for college.